What's up guys welcome to Apex thanks for tuning in today we have got an all new update for Samsung's theme park engine which is a module on good log application this application is available in some of the countries and available only on some Samsung devices for this particular module on good log we have got this update as you can see the version number is 1.0.8.3 and the change log says folder icon shape and color customization which is kind of exciting we can now customize the folder icon shape and colors as well uh, there is also a mention of apply rtl ui improvement and other errors correction now let's go ahead and see these new changes here i have got samsung galaxy note 20 ultra on the right hand side where the app is already updated and on the left hand side we have got samsung galaxy a52 which has the previous version of theme park engine Let's open the application on both these devices. As you can see, the layout hasn't changed much here. Let's tap on create new. Tap on next. This is where we can create our own themes. Here, the major update that we have received is for folder icon customization. Let's tap on this home page customization here. I'll tap the same on this device as well. As you can see in the previous version, on the folder icon, we don't see anything here. Whereas with the updated version, it shows a particular icon here, which indicates that now we can customize the folder icons. Let's tap on this. As we can see, we have got this new window, which has popped up, which shows different shapes for the folder icon. And we also have an option to change the color. As you can see, I can select any particular shape for the folders and then tap on color to select the color you want for that particular folder icon. This customization option is kind of cool, but there is no uniformity if you change the folder icon, which is gonna look different from the other regular icons that you have on the home screen. I wish the same kind of customization was offered for the other individual icons as well. That would have made a lot of sense and I'm sure that is coming very soon. All right, now the second change is apply RTL. I wish there was a bit better explanation for this particular line that they have mentioned. However, I did try searching it out on Google and what I found out is that this feature will allow a better experience to all types of users, whether their language uses a script that reads right to left or one that reads left to right. So this is what I found. Uh, I could be wrong here, but you guys let me know whether RTL means the same or not. Let me know in the comment section below. And the third point mentioned here is UI improvement and other error corrections. I didn't notice much of that. There could be some bug fixes or so, and that's all that is there in the change log. Now these customization options on Samsung Galaxy phones through GoodLock is much appreciated, but we would definitely expect all these customization options by default on the phone itself rather than downloading an application to customize them because there are a lot of people across the globe who are unable to experience GoodLock and customize their phones. I wish Samsung offers these customizations by default on the phone itself rather than through another application. By the way, I'm coming up with another video comparing the One UI home screen customization options with Yamaha UI. So you will get to know what Yamaha UI offers when it comes to their home screen customization. You will be surprised to see that, so stay tuned for that video. That's all I have here. If you're new on the channel, do subscribe and make sure you leave a like for the video. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. Take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye-bye.